Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at a release from the Star Wars Black series that I am very, very excited about. The Biker Scout with his speeder bike. And I'll give you a closer look. Here's the uh, artwork on the back. And then the little packaging spiel. Included with a biker scout and speeder bike is this little stand that plugs into a hole on the bottom and allows it to kind of float like that. The biker scout figure turned out pretty good. First off, I just like the fact that they included some dirt on his outfit. You know, he's walking around Endor, so they included some sort of browning on his uh, shoes there, and I really dig that. Uh, even the bottom of his feet are brown, so that's cool. Um, also, there's holes in the bottom of his feet that plug into the uh, speeder bike. I like they included his little dinky little gun, and it fits really well right into his boot where it should. Uh, but there's some really good texturing on his black outfit. A lot of good texturing on there, so that's really cool. For uh, this scale figure, I'm impressed. I also like that his knee pads uh, have a little bit of brown on them as well. As you get a little closer up, the, uh, the black on these little straps here is a little wonky, but not too bad. But and I don't know if you can see here that the, uh, the pouches that go along his stomach and the stomach here are slightly gray. There's a little gray tone to them, so I appreciate the separation of white and gray. It's pretty accurate. Um, the sculpt on his armor looks really good. I uh, like the fact they sculpted all these little groove lines in there. And the back section looks really good too, including that little back flat pouch area. Back of the elbows look cool. Um, and let's take a closer look at the helmet. So I really like what they're doing here. They did a great job capturing this helmet. This is one of my favorite uh, variations on the Stormtrooper in the series, between like Scout Troopers, Speeder Bikes, Snow Troopers, that sort of thing. All the different colors. I've always liked this helmet, and I think they did a great job capturing the shape of the helmet. The sculpt of it looks really good. I like the little gray paint right there in the front. It looks really good. One little detail I like is that the, uh, the blaster is really small. It has a short handle. It only fits into one finger. And I like that they sculpted the finger separation so that it actually does fit the way it's supposed to between his index finger and his middle finger. So good job to them for, for sculpting the figures that way. The speeder bike looks really awesome too. Uh, they had a fresh box that just came out in the store which contains two speeder bikes and a job of the hut so I got to compare the two. And I picked this one because the, uh, the gray paint on this was cleaner than the other one. The other one I saw had some massive like silver paint going across that didn't even read like you know, scratches, it just read like big globs of silver paint. So, I don't know, if you're as nitpicky as I am and you have your choice, take a look at that when you're shopping for this. But let's take a closer look and see some of the details that are on this, because it looks rad. Even the console and these little knobs here look good. The little crotch pad. But look at this, a little pouch on the back. I like the fact that it's like textured and has like a little wash to it. Gives it kind of a cloth feel. They did a good job with that. Um, a lot of the little silver paint scratches look good on here. Especially on the darker side here. I like all this stuff as far as use of silver against the black. The little engine underneath looks good and the GAC underneath. Gun pivots and you can see this uh, front section here. Handlebars are fine, they don't move at all, but what does move is these back flaps. They don't go all the way up the way the old like 97 Power of the Force series did because they went like all the way up but they kind of hit the pouch here but they do go up enough that you can see the, the little engine area so that's cool. And then lastly you got the foot pads here that have a little hole for the uh, I mean they have a peg for the hole at the bottom of the Biker Scouts shoe. I checked out the articulation and it's all really good. In particular the ankle joint is really good in that it bends all the way forward and allows you to get his foot on the pedal. Uh, the other thing worth noting is his little thigh pads. They like hang down from his waist and touch the top of his thighs. I thought they might get in the way but they actually move quite a bit so when you bend his legs up they move with his legs. However, I should point out they don't bend up as far as I'd like because if you want to bend him at the waist to get him to hug the base of the uh, speeder bike more uh, he can't bend all the way down, so he, he does have to sit somewhat upright on this. But one thing I like they included was a really good ball joint head. With that pivot at the neck and then the ball joint, his head does look all the way up, which is great when he's riding a speeder bike. You don't want his head to be looking down and looking all stupid like he's not designed it to be on this. Now I'm really happy with how this turned out. 
I'm a massive Return of the Jedi fan. When I was a little kid, my favorite scene was a speeder bike chase. I used to watch that over and over and over again. And when the Power of the Force speeder bikes came out, I used to play with them all the time. So I'm really happy they made this, because when they launched the Black Series, I was really hoping that we'd get to some vehicles. And yeah, this is a small vehicle, but the quality of these figures are pretty good, and I was really looking forward to a speeder bike in this scale. And it did not disappoint. I really dig it, and I think it looks awesome on this stand. Thanks for watching.